Home builder sentiment and mortgage demand coming in hot today. The data pushing housing stocks high, higher earlier in the day, though the sector ended the session well off the highs. We are seeing, are we seeing a turning point for the space? Diana Olick joins us now with the details. Diana. Well, Melissa, the street was looking for another drop in builder sentiment, but instead we got the first gain in 12 straight months. The NAHB survey for January rose four points to 35. That's still in negative territory, but it's a start. Of course, sentiment was at 83 a year ago. Still, builders pointed to lower mortgage rates for the optimism. Rates actually dropped again sharply today, down to 6.04 percent on the 30-year fix, according to Mortgage News Daily. That's down from 7.37 percent at the end of October, and that sparked mortgage demand as well. Mortgage applications last week jumped 28 percent from the pre previous week. Now, some of that is coming off the holiday lull, but more of that is, of course, the lower rates as both demand for refis and home purchases rose. The builders said in their release that this could mark the bottom of this housing recession. And the mortgage bankers suggested rates would go even lower. But we're not out of the woods yet. Home prices are still very high, and there is precious little available for sale. Melissa? Diana, when they say that the bottom of the housing recession, what exactly does that mean? Because I, I would have thought that the supply-demand dynamic is such that things are still good and will continue to be good, and that bottom is still far off. Well, that's the builders. So they're talking okay. about construction. They're talking about housing starts, building permits, et cetera. Now, we get the December numbers tomorrow morning, so that's going to be a little bit backward looking. But what they're trying to say is they believe that starts and permits will start to rise from here. Ah, Diana, thank you. Diana Olek. Is this good news? I, I, you can get excited for a couple of days, but I mean, first of all, the excitement in the sector has been rates going lower. Home builders are at you know six month highs, and and there was a nice double bottom here. And the chart guys, uh, I think, could pretty much point to where this was almost to a T. Uh, there's nothing here in what we've talked about tonight that is good for housing. And talk about a consumer that I think is going to be under more pressure than they have been. Um, talk about it, you know building costs. If you know copper prices are going high, I mean, I, I think a lot of the costs related to housing actually aren't going to get a whole lot better. So no, I would not be chasing this news. I wouldn't be chasing lower rates into housing. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess the chase was that, I mean, we all know people who locked in 30 year fix at like below 3%, mm -hmm. what, a year and change ago. So the idea that we had seven and a half percent not too long ago, you have that sort of decline in such a short period of time. And the sort of data that we've seen about mortgage applications, it makes sense here. Um, but again, I just don't think that's going to be a trend. And sooner or later, I think a lot of the supply demand dynamics that were people were saying was a massive tailwind. Um, I just don't, you know, I just don't see it here. So, I, I, again, I don't think there's really anything to chase because ultimately um, you're going to see yields come down much lower, but it's going to be much longer from now.